And like what really kills me is this this married man narrative that I y'all are dragging like oh I'm done with the married man cut it out will absolutely stain your white men will stain your white let at this point let's just say let's just say some men some men are not all men because what in the name of third leg is going on here what in the name of third leg is going on here <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess Banigo and I'm an Nigerian YouTuber based right here in Lagos. To all my returnees, you are welcome. And if you're new, thank you so much. Guys, it has happened again and there's evidence. Like this is not just one of those, oh, uh, hearsay, oh, uh, where's the proof? There are proofs flying left, right, center. This time it's bloody and it's crazy. Hmm. So guys, recently Just Lover made a post about the video having another woman and a whole bunch of drama going on between them and you know later on you know Gislava said oh this lady has you know taking down the post saying that um, nothing like that happened and it was all just a mix-up and whatnot mm. and you guys know when Gislava comes out most of the times it's accurate although we know there are times when most of the things they say is not accurate or sometimes we just want to we don't want to believe the things that cheese lover is saying that they are the truth but at this point my people <laughs> this one is not a joke so guys i mean like even in davido's songs they are proof that davido is like something transparent you know guys most of this nigerian artists or even artists in the world sometimes when they're what they're dealing with in their personal life they inculcate it into their music they put it put it into their music and you know they sing it as a line or something just like um the story of nyanya and yvonne and you know this other lady what was a popular name i can't remember right now but say he actually sang in his song you know what's that girl's name anyway yes, that's not why we're here so this lady came outside and said that david o impregnated her and i look a mess but anyways i can ha Guys, there are evidence is flying left, right, center. Here, I'm going to be putting it. You're going to hear from her. Take your time, relax, and don't rush this. Watch it. Because I did the hard work for you guys, bringing everything that she said so yeah, you guys can see yourself. So you don't go saying, oh, this is not the truth. Oh, how did it just come about? Oh, is this the truth? Are you sure? Are you not sure? So this guy said she met the video a while back. It's not something new. I mean, they met in Dubai in 2017 and that whatever it is that she had with David, it was not a one night stand. I mean, this girl started on our, you know, stories by saying, never in my life have I ever clouded. I have been popular all my life from preschool and on. I have never had to expose nobody famous here all. Never even heard my business in relation to any of this kind of category because it's unnecessary for me but what is now necessary is for me to speak up for myself because i won't let people throw debt on my name lie or play with my integrity or name hmm. and she, she was just giving us snippets saying i was soon clear the air after i ended the business and finished school for the day um eat y'all all up hmm my people that was how this babe now came with the proofs the evidences that you need to see so she posted this video showing us and making us know that she met david in 2017 and it's not even a one night start or anything that nobody should play with her you could see the girl in davido's show singing and vibing literally to david showing us david and showing herself <laughs>
um you know she came out and you know said a bunch of stories i'm going to put it for you guys to see here you know she was just explaining herself and talking you guys should listen to her and everything she had to say it's really crazy to how to make a video of me taking a fucking p test when please Yes, this is a Claire P test, brand new. About to pee, and I gotta pee really bad. Ain't no test around, no other tests on the floor, nothing. Fucking weirdos. Ridiculous. Let me turn the screen around. So, right there, she came with proof. Okay, um, there were chats here where people were chatting at the videos. People, you can see the chat. You know, um, this pregnancy was a mistake. You choose to keep the baby. Your choice is respected. I will advise him to wait once you deliver the baby. We will do the needful and take responsibility if it's an Adeleke. Wait on what only God can advise me on my life. And you do you don't have to wish me anything. I'm in great aunt. Hmm. Oh my god, guys, David Doe cannot just keep it in his pants. Like at this point, it's okay for us to say, look at the text messages here flying all around. Like, this is the truth, guys. Like, the messages are in here. If you can read, please go ahead and read it all because I'm putting everything here for you guys to see because I can't read it all out for you guys. Then, at a point, this lady said to go and do a blood test. Now, I don't know if it's a recent one or whatever she was showing us everything i mean watch the video guys watch it just watch it ridiculous it's hard dude. It's crazy. Like she was showing us the old pum pum and everything, showing us the toilet. Like you guys should just watch and listen. Um, at the point she was saying, I have bread. The old NYC, that's New York City, knows I am a female who doesn't like sitting in a car worth less than 100 k I have over two million dollars in property. I own a community. If I ever need ex need money, it's because it's a lot going on, and that's what comes with being an entrepreneur don't ever play with me she's showing us the toilet and stuffs oh my god and she's saying i went this far with zero children for a reason i am not no waste girl i don't need to lay on my back for a check my brain is super sufficient which god gave me mm. god gave you brain but you decided to you know anyway let's continue um she said this is the message that she put off david <laughs> david don't honestly want nothing from you i got the best thing from you which is a lesson learned i am in no way upset with you i'm just disappointed in myself i was having a rough day when we saw each other and easily accepted an invite from the enemy that used familiarity i committed all kind of adultery and fornication furthermore i didn't know at first you were married i never knew after and i still desired and up till even now the worst thing that it was a girl telling us that she did not know that david was married you know that she didn't know david already married she um uh, 
that she wasn't the america and these things were not you know up in the blogs she's showing us her luxurious lifestyle here telling us that she has money telling us that on her teeth she has thirty thousand dollars of vineyards done hmm. showing us her lifestyle she's even showing us her houses her first house her second house showing us of david calling her hey Anyway, this is the girl talking here. Let me just leave her to talk. And you guys can tell me what you think about this whole thing. Do you think this is crazy? Do you think the video overstepped it this time? What do you think, guys, really? Let me know. Y'all are evil. Yeah, maybe disrespect my friend. So, I don't like y'all. And I look a mess. But, anyways, I can't play my right skirmish tour. Hmm... <sighs> I just had to clear, you know, the story up and like let y'all know because y'all was like coming at my neck and I don't really like that. Stop coming at me. Um, God loves me. I'm very God fearing. I know what happened exactly. Um, I don't want to ruin anybody's relationship. And like, what really kills me is this this married man narrative that y'all are dragging. Like, oh, I'm done with the married man. Cut it out. No, I did not know he was married. On God, did not know. Like. Go to his page. Does it look like he's married? Like, I'm confused. Like, you know, rest in peace to the child. Like, people knew about the baby, but nobody knew he got married. I'm in America. Nobody here knew. Sorry. Sorry. Nobody knew. Nobody knows. It's not on a blog. It's not a big thing. If a, a man ain't telling me, then I don't know. And I, I wasn't checking for it because I'm not looking to get married. I'm not, I'm not looking for that right now. So that, that wasn't something that... I was in search for, I wasn't digging up anything like that. So no, I didn't know. I actually found out after the fact, and then I found out after the fact that I'm actually pregnant. So y'all are way off, like cut it out, like never. Maybe a fornicator, never an adulterer, calm down. Nobody's out here trying to allegedly mess up somebody's marriage that was already messed up, but that's none of my business. But anyhow, like nobody's here is trying to do that. I don't want to take nobody's place because there can only be one me. There's only one Nina the Elite, one Anita Brown. I don't want to be nobody else. I don't want nobody's spot. I'm Gucci. Like I literally focus on my businesses. I focus on working hard and doing me. Like this happened. Like it happens. Like and like and what? I'm still favored. I'm still blessed. God still loves me. Like. And that's what I want to set the record straight because I'm not going to get bullied on Instagram and everybody's talking about things they don't know. And because I've been being quiet and I've been being peaceful, it's only getting worse. And I'm I'm trying to save face for other people, but then it's defaming my name and I'm not having that. So this is why I'm here. I don't need clout, my loves. Y'all can't give me clout. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye for now.